Arsenal last season struggled to get good play out of their attacking midfielder early in the season. However, when they loaned in Odegaard to finish the second half, they looked much better in that position. In this video, I will give 5 options Arsenal could use in their attacking midfield position to make their team much more dynamic. Martin Odegaard last season played pretty well at times for Arsenal, and he would be the most obvious choice to fill this position. He's an obvious choice as he already knows the system, and he already showed that he can play at this level. He showed his skill last Premier League season with his 4.99 progressive passes, 0.22 expected assist, 2.18 key passes, 4.36 shot creating actions, and 0.62 goal creating actions per 90. These stats are amazing for the attacking midfield position, putting him in a very high tier in his position amongst Europe. He is very skilled and gifted, but he would come with a medium price level, costing 40 million euros. I think that price is worth it for Arsenal, and this would be their best option. James Madison has been on Arsenal's radar for a while, as he has shown he has the skill and ability with Leicester. He is a proven goal scorer and assister, as he scored 8 goals and assisted 5 last season. He adds that to 4.33 progressive passes, 0.23 expected assist, 2.23 key passes, 4.5 shot creating actions, and 0.47 goal creating actions per 90. These stats are very similar to Odegaard's Premier League stats, but Madison would cost a lot more due to the so-called English tax. He would come with a hefty price, with his market value being 55 million euros. However, Leicester wanted around 80 million euros for Arsenal to get him. I think he is a good option for Arsenal, but Odegaard makes more sense in comparison. Danny Olmo is a relatively unmentioned option for attacking midfield for Arsenal, but I think he should be mentioned as he's a solid option. Danny Olmo has been tearing it up for Leipzig in the Bundesliga, with his 5.87 progressive passes, 0.2 expected assist, 1.56 key passes, 4.27 shot creating actions, and 0.78 goal creating actions per 90. He's a top tier attacking midfielder in Europe and that reflects in his high market value of 50 million euros, which seems like all it will take to get his services. However, he comes with more risk than Madison and Odegaard, as Bundesliga superstars sometimes struggle when they enter the Premier League, and he could follow suit. Ruslan Malinowski is the oldest on this list, but a proven talent that will not cost that much. He has been a dominant force at attacking midfield and in set pieces for Atalanta these past two seasons. He is a solid goal scorer, and a sister, shown with his 8 goals and 12 assists. He also added 7.39 progressive passes, 0.47 expected assists, 3.6 key passes, 6.04 shot creating actions, and 0.82 goal creating actions per 90. He has the best stats on this list, and he would be cheap, with his 30 million euro market value. However, he is older, and may not have many top level years left of him. An excellent short term option, but they would need a replacement in a couple of years. Starting Emil Smith Rowe at their attacking midfielder is another option for Arsenal as well. He is definitely worse than the other options, however, he is already on the team and obviously comes with no price. There is little risk with playing him either, as you will not lose money on him. However, he definitely has the worst stats from the last season. Last Prem season, he had 2.63 progressive passes, 0.19 expected assist. 1.5 key passes, 2.69 shot creating actions, and 0.44 goal creating actions per 90. Not horrible stats, but they are definitely average stats. Arsenal could get better than him, however they will have to splash to cast to do that, and if they do not want to, Emil Smith-Rowe is not a bad option at all. 